Believe it or not, I remember this cable. I can tell you this is USB. Uh, it has the red, black, white, and green. White and green being data, red and black being power. And, uh, you know, at one point I decided I needed to cut into it. I can't remember why. But, uh, this was the USB cable for the pen cam. My brother, for I think his birthday or something like that, got a Vivitar was the brand. A Vivitar pen cam. Little gray thing about this long, two triple A's, uh, you know, maybe that wide and real, real kind of slender. Had a bit of a clip on the back of it. And you really could put it in your pocket if you were interested in doing so. Just a little uh, numeric, like seven segment, two digit seven segment display in the back of it to show you how many pictures you had left uh, in the, I believe it was internal memory and just a button on the top of it and a button on the front of it and that was it. Um, I believe, I can't remember if it would do video or not. It wouldn't have been very good video, it wasn't very good pictures, but uh, the, the, I think the novelty of it was that it was relatively cheap and you could give it to a kid and not really have an issue with it and it was kind of small and slender. Um, <clears throat> the thing that I discovered about that camera was that it could act as a webcam as well. So when you plugged it in via USB, it had the right drivers to stream video live into the computer. And that was the first one of those that I had ever had. I don't even remember what all what all I did with it, but I was doing all sorts of crazy crap. Uh, you know, of course, limited by my 133 megahertz processor on the machine. Eventually, something happened. There was some kind of physical damage to the pen cam itself, where uh, uh, five volts and ground got shorted together. Because I remember plugging it in with this cable seeing a spark and my computer showed a uh, an error saying that it had detected a power surge on one of the USB ports and shut it down. It was probably for the best if I could see a spark. So, uh, but yeah, I remember it was this cable because the end of it had started to it had let go of the, uh, the the strain relief and molding on the end of it had let go of the insulation on the outside of this cable and so you could actually spin it around which is a little weird. And then, I don't remember why I cut into it or whatnot, but, yeah. That's the end of an era. We're going to get rid of this one. There's there's not a usable end on either end of it. I suppose if I were, I don't know how to, I don't know if this is scavengeable or not, but I think this is a, a ferrite core. Uh, they, they put them on there to suppress noise. Um, yeah. But, yeah, that's trash.